for the first time to see what it would be like. Um, this is a rental company here in Moab that comes out and sets up the trailer and gets it all ready for you. So, give you a little walk around. It looks like the trailer has solar, a little bit of battery here. Looks like they take off the hitch there so no one could take it anywhere. Uh, nice little awning up here, a little bike rack. Looks like old two bikes and probably something else. This particular trailer looks like it's made by Skate Pod. Um, here's the entryway. There's a door on each side of the trailer and then inside here is a bed area with some nice sheets. It was a real comfortable bed. And then here is um, uh, a couple USB ports on each side to charge your devices. And let's see in here is some, some storage. This door opens up here and has some storage by it, what I'd call the headboard. And then another door on this side. And then on this side here we have some cabinets that you have for storage. You, these knobs you kind of push in and they lock or if you push them again they come out and you just twist them. So there's a, some storage here and storage in the middle. I'm sorry, I guess this would be the middle here. Some storage there and then a little stereo player. It's kind of unique. It's a U, uh, not a USB, but a blue Bluetooth. So you just um, lock into your device, your phone per se, and you can play music off your phone. Um, there is a, a fan up here. It's not a fantastic fan, which is a really good fan. This looks like a just a little fan I'm not sure how it does because we didn't use it and then one or two big LED lights in here which is more than enough for this space it's interesting on some of these teardrops I've seen as you can see here they have a space where your feet go and I really don't care for that because when you're trying to turn at night or sometimes your feet hit the top or the bottom of the cabinets which I don't really like and I've seen some teardrops, they somehow make this all open here, which I like a little better, but um, not too bad. It just makes you feel a little more enclosed while you're in here. And um, I'd like to see if someone could eliminate this this wasted kind of foot space or do something with it here. It would be cool. Well, the side is maybe, maybe I guess this is birch. Could be wrong. Someone will correct me, I'm sure, if it is wrong, but uh, nice. Nice inside. Alright, and then out here, we'll go to the galley in the back. And uh, the galley has a gigantic Yeti cooler and a couple of our watermelons are sitting there. And a stove, a two burner stove. One burner's bigger than the other. And then these slide out, slide doorways with where you can put your pots and pans. I actually like these slide doorways. I would even want these kind of on the inside. Those are those are pretty cool. They just take up less space. I don't like a door that swings because, for example, the door on the inside, I try to open it up all the time and I'm on the other side and I just had a hard time reaching around the door. So you can store stuff here. And then it has, looks like three drawers and uh, some silverware and coffee cups and towels. Oh, there's towels back here. I didn't know that. And some coffee cups and plates. And then this Yeti cooler slides out so you can get to it. Um, this particular galley does not have a sink back here, which is a downside. Uh, but they did bring us this little sink set up here which worked out pretty well. It's just something else you have to carry. So, galley's pretty nice and basic. Uh, LED light up top here, which was more than enough light for the night time. A propane bottle on this side. And then this is interesting, this box here, it looks like it's a some type of Insta-Heat where you can um, kind of control the heat of the water and you just press this little spout right here I guess I guess that's what you call a spout 
looks like something in your kitchen and voila water comes out and if you just wait a second the hot water comes out and it's like heat on demand so that's pretty cool that's a, that's a really nice feature this this particular unit looks like it's made for off-roading the, the wheels are really big and thick and tall for me, I'm, I'm short, I'm about 5'6". The galley is a little too high for me in the back. I wish it was a little lower, but I know they did that for grandparents for off-road stuff, I would assume. Uh, it was nice having the awning. That was, that was a really cool feature. And uh, this rental place in Moab was really neat because they came out and just set the whole thing up for you. You throw your clothes and food in the cooler and you're ready to go, so. Really nice experience on that side. But anyways, um, I rented this because I'm thinking of purchasing a teardrop and been looking at different models. And I first of all wanted to sleep in a teardrop to see what it was like before I spent all the money. And my feelings so far are that a teardrop is very nice. Uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages. I think the advantages are such where you can um, set up really easily and quickly and you can tear down easily and quickly um, and it's nice and cozy and warm when it's cold outside because it was pretty cold last night so you can stay warm. The galley was really easy and kind of fun to cook in so really self-contained and nice. So those are some of the great advantages of a teardrop and probably easy to tow even though I didn't tow this. So I hear they're pretty easy to tow. Um, the downside is that um, you can't stand up in it, obviously. And so putting on your pants and underwear in the morning is a little interesting, but I'm sure you can get used to that. Um, if it's cold or windy or imagine snowing outside, you know, what do you do? You can't stand up. You uh, you got to cook in the cold. You got to cook in the wind, and that sometimes that could be hard. So that's a disadvantage. But um, you know, everything has its advantages and disadvantages. But overall, I really like the concept of the teardrop because my only option is to tow it with my Subaru over here, which is a Crosstrek, and it has a 1,500 pound towing capacity. So that leaves me the option of uh, a teardrop or even a, I would say, a um, pop-up camper, which with a pop-up camper, it becomes a little difficult because you uh, got to set it up and the, the things flap in the wind and it's probably colder and it's just more of a pain in the ass sometimes. But you have more room and you can stand up in it. so. Everyone's got to decide what the best fit is for them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Teardrop trailer in Moab, Utah. And um, have a good one. Till next time. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Just, just awesomeness. See ya.